And we're back to learning GIMP. Let me show you how you can add a bokeh to your photos. It's obviously just one method, but we have the original here and a bokeh image on top. You can simply search for that, for example, on Unsplash. I'm going to link to this one in the video description below. Then you import it, put it on top of your image. Let me decrease the opacity and I scale it a little bit up. And I move it to the right. So on something like this. You can also rotate it if you have to. In my case, I'm fine with the position. So just reset it. This is our starting point. Let me get back to 100% opacity. And now we'll change the blending mode. And just click on it and then use the arrow keys up and down and you can see the effect applied in real time. Lighten and addition looks kind of good. But cycle through them all. Maybe there's a different effect that you like. I'm going to use addition for this one. Afterwards, right click on this layer and add a layer mask. Make it fully white, confirm via add. And now we want to be on the layer mask right here. So make sure that this is active and not the layer. Use the paintbrush, make it black and white. Black should be your foreground color. And you can adjust the size of a brush right here. Just paint over this. We want to have the foreground fully visible. So the bokeh should only be in the background of the model. When you've cleaned the foreground up, it's time to cover the edges. So go down with the size and then if you've painted over it too much, just flip the colors and make it white. And that's going to bring the background back a little bit. And this is already all there is. So now it's all about how much time do you invest in cleaning up these details. On a layer mask, black always conceals and white reveals. And then play around with the size of your brush, especially when it comes to the edges right here. And little details like wristbands or jewelry on the ear, something like this.
And this is how you can apply a bokeh to your photos using GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.